We are here fighting demons. The world is crazy, think I'm dreaming. We are here fighting evil forces. We are here fighting evil forces. Yeah, we are here fighting demons. This world is crazy, think I'm dreaming. They don't know who we are. They are actors and agents, I'm cracking the pavements This machine that I'm raging is filled with demons in cages I beam them with lasers, you dreaming in phases I navigate through these mazes and all the traps that they set When I evacuate this world, I hope I got no regrets Lightning fast away, my soul will elevate like a jet And yeah, I'm packing your step before I package it, yep Ain't talking presence, leave you in the past Turn you back to carbon 12, that means hours When all the smoke settles, we see all the liars that start the fires Yeah so tell me what would you do if they knew they're burning down cities with DWs The type of shit that don't make it to the news They leave you hanging, that's why they call it news Break it loose, Bruce Wayne, Superman out the booth Tell me what is a man to do when all he has the truth Tell us Out here fighting evil forces We out here fighting evil forces Out here fighting evil forces we are here fighting evil forces We are here fighting demons The world is crazy, think I'm dreaming We are here fighting evil forces We are here fighting evil forces Yeah, we are here fighting demons This world is crazy, think I'm dreaming They don't know who we are They cross the line, we go Dark powers and masters with agendas to blast us Mind control killings carried out on the masses These disasters ain't natural, the earth changing Due to their hands and derangement The kid all catch a fade, damn right What they do in the shade will come to light My game tight, when they come I'm ready to fight Posted with the rifle, ready to snipe I'ma take their mask off, all your jokers ready to die Notorious when you can look into my eyes I'm sent here to expose all these demons in disguise Got them tiptoeing like dancers Ain't no question I'm the answer to your Hegelian dialectic I see right through you I see right through you Now nah, check that out. You can see the resemblance. They had to take those down, plus that was a, a point for them, a point in time. Kicking something off. Now again, when we're talking frequency, FLU, reverse, ULF. Ultra low frequency. Let that sink in. And now the new one, E R I S E G dot five. Now, <laughs> this isn't a laughing matter, but guys, it couldn't be any more clear. The E. Numerology is a five. Or if you wanted to reverse that, either way. You can still find many good articles when you're on the internet, the interwebs, researching. Even though they've took a lot of stuff off, you just have to know the right questions to ask, you know. Uh, here's a real good article right here. But, you know, it's a collective database of, you know, information and research. Um, and then the other name on here, Carl C. Okay. The CIA secret agreement with the Third Reich scientist. 
a new age has dawned on all of us, an age of remarkable technology. We have the ability to scan the heavens and put humans into space, a.k.a. extra territory. We can divide cells at the subatomic level and unravel DNA. Un -un 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 unravel DNA. That's right. We know intimately many of the ways the brain functions, how to shape it, recondition it, influence it, reinforce response mechanisms for a desirable outcome. Just to give you a little sample of that, I'll put the link below for that specific uh, article there. Pretty good, and there's tons of, you know, research on this stuff. But just to give you an idea of, you know, how far back they were, you know, looking to figure out how our brain works and how to control it is the goal here, not using it for good or to benefit, well, it's to benefit them. Crazy. Speaking of gene altering, I'll play through a couple. Uh, this is actually a video I already made a while back. I'll just speed through some of them, some of these covers from video games where they're predictive programming. Uh, or you could say they're just, oh, they're geniuses, man. They come up and create all these video games. They just all have to follow the same few plots to all their stuff, right? Very creative. How many times can you make a game or a show or whatever about the same shit over and over again? Just putting different spins on it. It's because they really want that message in your head. Part of the magic is to put it on the screen first, so probably wouldn't work if they weren't doing it. Here goes the, uh, the compilation of uh, some of these predictive programming. Bill Cooper said behold that pair of horse. Let's find out a little more about Gates, where he hails from. Well, I know the pits of hell 
hell. I mean, family-wise. As you know, and you can see, the list of companies owned by or under Gates' name or companies he's invested in. The untrained eye would say, yeah, he's amazing. He's a genius. Well, they would say genius because in Romanian, genius is attached to the word demon. So yeah, he's a genius. For sure. Anyway, let's start back in time. His mother, a part of IBM. Both World War One and Two. Now, IBM is where all the technology is coming from for the wars. You know, there's different families, different positions that play their part. It's one of those families that got their lizard hands in everything. Even if you're talking about CERN, where do you think all those computer parts are coming from? Also, a nuclear power company called Terra Power, spoke about before. Terra is Earth, Earth Power. Earth is a generator. There's a very well-known dark history behind this family. And this is, couldn't be worse individuals to have in power of stuff like nuclear power, using stuff from the Earth to turn it against humans basically hotwired the whole place to be a big ass bomb between five antennas and power lines everywhere nuclear power plants not just in a couple spots they're everywhere there's more than one hydron collider that you know you got the main one in switzerland but they got little hydron colliders all over the place now i'll, I'll be surprised guys and gals if uh, this video even stays up here uh, i'm gonna upload it on rumble as well uh, go over there, by the way. It's right in the description. Because, like I said, I'm going to start putting other stuff on there you can't put on here. And I'm uploading all my past videos on there. Hopefully, it'll slide by. And there's a method to the madness when I got people sometimes talking about I'm using scary music in the vids. I make instrumentals. I'm just selecting different ones, you know, that I haven't used or whatever. Uh, and then there's a method to the madness again trying to trick the algorithms I could speak about or sometimes drop certain things might not be able to if it's just me and my voice so I got a lot of other things going on in the video it's all on purpose anyway if you remember Mr. Bill got caught up with uh, pictures and you know video of him associating with Epstein and then of course he had to do his apology video something I noticed I won't be the first one to notice this because once I seen there was some stuff online about it already so with Gates you think about Epstein the lady Jessalyn Maxwell so do you know what Gates' mother's maiden name is? You guessed it right, Maxwell. And so, of course, anytime something is true, funded by the elite, you got a fact check that comes out. So, of course, there's a fact check about, no, this is false. Gates' is mother, Maxwell, there's no relation to Jesley and Maxwell. Yeah, I don't buy it. Again, everything that they do that is true, they have to put out a fact check about it. The, for uh, newly inquiring minds, people that are just starting to wake up, don't know no better, they'll see a fact check and say, oh, nah, it's, it's a fact check, man, that was bullshit. Don't let them do that to you. This is the type of symbolism and hidden messages you're working with in companies like this. Look at this. This company Soul Machines invested with Microsoft. Now you can see the L, the electric, the light, the soul, and that line goes right into the H, into the hard drive, into the machine. Soul Machines. So now we're going to go through 
So more of Gates's bloodlines is a, you know, figure out any other possible names that they've went under. Even Maxwell, that's a big one because if you're looking black, if you're talking black nobility in the house of Orsini, which, you know, again, these families still exist. These bloodlines that there's books written about by Springmeyer and other people, uh, even before him, we're talking about these families. And these families, these are real. These are the ones that own everything. You could, you could see it. Anyway, House of Orsini also used to be called Maximus Clan. Hmm. A lot of these families, a lot of these mainstream heroes, they, well, they, you know, try to convince you it's a hero, like Elon. I tie in all these top guys to these families, specifically the House of Orsini. Again, with Elon, real quick, his grandfather's side, the name's Haldeman. And Haldeman's coat of arms clearly has the Rosicrucian, the same symbol you'll see on the House of Orsini. And also, they must all like candy cane stripes. Just like the American flag, the red and white. So again, uh, these are these are people that sit above the government. That's why why does it seem like that? Because that's what it is. Gatekeeper. And by definition, all these names are, are. I mean, it seems like they're very intentional, right? He's involved with CERN and computers itself, and gates being a gate, a portal, and, uh, an eye, an opening. You know, the Google Chrome symbol, again, it's not just a 666 in there. Alchemical symbol, that's referring to a vortex being created. A portal opening up. A eye, a window, the windows to your soul. And I guess uh, back in the 90s, there was a game that came out that uh, supposedly it was creation of, from Microsoft and Gates, but then they said it wasn't. You know, there's a fact check on it again. <laughs> and in this game, it was basically about exactly what I and other people think that they're trying to do. Uh, in the game, there's a demon that pretends to be human, harnesses and harvests souls here. But yeah, they, it, there's a fact check, so don't worry. That's it wasn't him. He wears the pink sweaters. Another company he's involved with, Open AI. You see the hexagram within the symbol, or the box, depending on what dimension you're looking at it. it they show you a box at the same time. Trump symbolism has it as well, real quick. Just like in the Operation Warp Speed, clearly see it. And it could also be Odin's horn, looks the same, like the Google Chrome or the Trilateral Commission. You ever just see that weird game, that uh, like a backdoor game in the first windows, Halls of the Tortured Souls? They say, uh, it, you know, it's their way of like showing all the people that put all their hard time into creating the windows. I don't know, kind of strange. Everything they, everything about Gates is, uh, you, you could clearly see the demonic aspect, and again the Satan symbolism or Saturn, and the uh, the mosquito commercial. I'll speed it up and show it right here. Show him portraying himself as the Grim Reaper. And again, these uh, these games, he's a, he plays a big part in the creation of these video games and the demonic ones. 
especially uh, seems to be their favorite because there, there's a way to get in to the psyche, obviously through the games, but through all the messages and through the light codes coming through the TV. And they're all signatured by these sorcerers, you know. Being aware is the best thing we could do. Put your blockers up, your, your force field. And they got, speaking of the, uh, the mosquitoes, though, they have him releasing recently more mosquitoes all over Florida. Again, these, these they don't adhere to the government. These are, uh, these are families that are direct connected to the Vatican and the real powers. You'll even see Billy wearing the Hebrew hat, man. The ones that claim that they're J-E-W's, but they're not. Rothschild, the Kazarian, Bloodlines. They're all, they all sit in the same room, let's just say. And you know we live in the Matrix type of environment. Uh, so, you know, of course he's a programmer is one of the definitions that defines what Bill Gates is when you look him up. But there's a double meaning there to me because he's also one of the main programmers to this world we're living in. So you got his mother high up with IBM. You also got great-grandfather, James Maxwell, founder of a national city bank. Definitely a, a key family in the operation. Him having the Maxwell on that side. So I'll go out on a limb and say, <laughs> it's there's a possible connection there between Gates and James Clark Maxwell. One of the OGs, so to speak, with uh, electromagnetism. I read this little part right here. 1865, Maxwell's presented what's known as second great unification of classic physics, second to Newton theory of electromagnetic propagation. Underlies cell phones, radar, TV, radio, optics, optic fibers, terrestrial satellites, and space communications, and even the discovery of the Higgs boson. Huh. His life was short, rich, and distinguished contributions to every branch of physical science, heat, light, mechanics, unifying the theory of electricity and magnetism, he established a sure foundation for modern physics. Helped with the Higgs boson, so he's got a hand, a big hand in with CERN, as well as Gates. So to me, <laughs> there, there's a connection. And you know, what's the odds with the name and also everything that Gates is involved with? You know, everything computer-wise is involving electromagnetism and light and understanding every aspect of it. Crazy how things changed the last few years Tell you to mask up, now you just mask the tears The mask is still confused and they living in fear Unplug them all, now they living aware Breathing fresh air, living with love And they living with care We looking above, real clouds giving us hugs Reflection talk back, they proud now Let go what you can't control Focus on your soul, vibrate at the highest rate That's what they try to stop They got me feeling irate, digest these words No prime state calling us Why is birth control of such vital importance internationally? Is it just to save women suffering? Is that the only reason in your mind? Well, not entirely. The population question is a great concern today. And the, the rate at which uh, the birth, births come in to the... We're saving them now. At one time, when children died, they didn't have the food. Mm -hmm. uh, today, our population 
all over the world is getting certainly better consideration and better conditions than they had at the time that I was there. I went to every country because I was invited. And uh, I didn't spread, go into the country myself. I was invited to go to Japan and uh, uh, to speak there, to have eight lectures on the question of birth control and peace. Well, do you believe that birth control is essential if we want to keep millions of people across the world from starving? Is that your thesis? Say it again. Do you feel that birth control is essential to keep millions of people across the world from starving? Well, I think the birth control, whether you keep your population uh, more or less static. Well, I think the birth control, whether you keep your population uh, more or less static. Until you pick up your resources, certainly you'll keep them and prevent their starving. Well, what's more important, birth control or picking up the resources? Well, picking up the resources, there's, a, there's just a limit to that, too. There's just so much to take Japan. And she cannot feed. They've had the best experts come there when MacArthur was there. Mm -hmm. and the best experts say they have 20 million more people and they can feed. She's got to be fed outside in some, in some way. Mm -hmm. She's got to have that kind of help if she's going to keep from, from fighting. But okay. certainly around the world there is, uh, there is potential agricultural land that is not being properly used now. Just this past year, on May 21st, the New York Times summarized an important study of the world's food resources made by Professor James Bonner of the California Institute of Technology. Professor Bonner says the world is not using one billion acres of potential agricultural land, and he adds that if this land were used and present agricultural land were improved, the entire world could be fed adequately, even if the population increased by one-third in the next 50 years. Oh, Mr. Wells, you hear so many fantastic things of what can happen with love and the attraction between men and women. In many cases, the very finest relationship has nothing to do with bearing a child. It's secondary. Many, many times we know that. You see your birth rate, you talk to people who have very happy marriages and they're not having babies every year. Yes, I think that's a celibate attitude. Well, a celibate attitude, but you agree that Catholicism, according to the tenets of Catholicism, they rule that birth control violates not only the church's position, it isn't the church's position, but they say that it violates a natural law, as I have just explained. Therefore, birth control is a sin, no matter who practices it. Now, the violation of the Generations of my people subject for conquest. Subject for conquest. We are here fighting evil forces. We are here fighting demons. The world is crazy, think I'm dreaming. We are here fighting evil forces.